Well, it's time. I recently got a new computer, upgraded to Cubase 12, and got some new sample libraries. It's time to do a major overhaul of my orchestral template. So I thought I might as well just post what I'm doing to my computer while I'm doing it. But before I start working on my template, I need to optimize my computer for my DAW. Now, I cannot recommend anything that I'm about to do for you or your computer setup. This is just me showing you what I did. I am not a computer tech. If you make any of these changes to your computer, please understand you are doing so at your own risk and I cannot be held responsible. I actually learned a lot of this from Pete Brown's excellent articles as well as other sources around the web. I'll post a link to Pete's articles below. So now that the disclaimers are out of the way, let's get started. I'm on a custom computer, my operating system is Windows 10 Pro, and I'm running Cubase 12 along with an older version of Pro Tools 10.3.6. I'm going to start by making sure I have the most recent version of the firmware and driver software for my audio interface. In this case, I'm using an RME Babyface, so I'll just download the software and run it. Pete Brown says that most of your audio performance is dependent on your audio interface, so you want to choose a great audio interface and have the latest drivers and firmware installed. So now, after running the updates, I'm going to restart my computer. The next thing I did was removing Sonic Studio Nehemic and Avolute from my computer. Sonic Studio Nehemic and Avolute came with my computer, but they caused conflicts with my Waves bundle. So I'm using Driver Store Explorer, which can be found here. I downloaded and unpacked it, ran it, sorted files by provider, and clicked any boxes that said Sonic Studio, Avolute, or Nehemic. I also deleted Realtek ASIO since it's useless for my application. Some of the files weren't removed initially, so I clicked Force Delete, and that took care of the problem. Then I rebooted my computer again. Now I'm going to go to the NVIDIA Control Panel. I'm going to click on Manage 3D Settings, and then I'm going to click the tab for Program Settings. Here I'm going to add Cubase and Pro Tools to the list of programs. Then, under Power Management Mode in the window below, I'm setting it to prefer maximum performance for both DAWs. Then I'll close the window. Now, here's what I did to optimize my computer for my DAWs. Now I'm going to do a search for Control Panel. I'm going to open it. And then in this window, I'm going to do a search for View Advanced System Settings and click that. Under the Advanced tabs is Performance. I'm going to click the Settings button, which opens the Performance Options window. Under the Visual Effects tab, I'm going to select Adjust for Best Performance. Now I'm going to click the Advanced tab, and under Processor Scheduling, I'm going to make sure it's set to Programs, not Background Services. A lot of people recommend selecting Background Services for DAWs, but Pete Brown mentions it's almost never beneficial to an audio workstation and basically gives other services the same priority as your DAW. Next, I'm going to click on the Data Execution Prevention tab and make sure Turn on DEP for Essential Windows Programs and Services Only is selected. I'm going to click Apply and then OK to close the window and also close any other windows that may be open. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and leave a comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.